A kid that grew up from nothing. He has this disability. Hey, are you dumb or deaf? Despite of it, he's still like pushing to thrive. And he turns out to be one of the best beatboxers that anyone's heard of. Corvante, how do you think this movie and Marcus's story is going to touch people? I really, really enjoy how it's just a story that's not talked about a lot, but it should be talked about, and his story is definitely unique. I think that the movie will inspire a lot of people and have, it will actually like give people like a different mindset on like how people will think of others. It shows that you can literally accomplish anything that you put your mind to. In this case, it was about beatboxing. It could be about getting a job, about going into sports. Even though it's a short film, you really get to see like his character develop and the relationships he makes with everyone. Yo, Alicia, what is it with you always writing that stupid book of yours? Why are you always picking on her? Jay, why do you care? Hey, my name is Ethan McLennan, and I play Chris and B. Lingo. Chris' character is actually like more of like a guy that like has your back and everything. He doesn't back down from no challenge at all that ever comes at him. Without a doubt, my lyrical style make your brain twitch. Raise your average give it. I would never dare to step up to the battle. You have to have guts, and I don't have them. Hi, I'm Caroline DeLeon, and I play the role of Alicia in the upcoming film Beat Lingo. Marcus obviously has to go to a new school. That's something I can personally relate to because it's really hard to make friends, especially to open up because I'm a character who actually wants to help him make relationships and uh, fit in. Yo, what the hell, man? You struck my shoes. Yo, Sean, aren't those new? Hi, my name is Justin Martinez. I play the role of Sean in the upcoming film of B-Lingo. And just having an amazing director like Jose. Are you deaf? Apologize? Sit there for a second. Uh, it, it was really good. He he taught me how to be an antagonist because I'm, 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 I'm not a, what Sean is at all. Like, I'm normally the person that helps people, not the other way around, just bullying others. Exhaustion. And I'm gonna leave you here looking stupid. Let the goody eye muted you can. To just be lucky, I'll be dissing you. Cause my crew ain't even gonna be missing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, experience shooting the film, it was amazing. I felt like I had the most fun this whole 2020, in my opinion. There were so many kids and extras, so we all just kind of became like a family. You don't feel like you have to act a, a different way, because at the end of the day, we're all kids, so like we're all thinking about the same thing. The highlight of the production is definitely the rap battle scene. When we got to see the other kids rap through the monitor, everyone was like dancing, and everyone was smiling and singing along. Highlight from the production has to be the classroom scene, which is one of my favorite scenes that we all did. Wherever I was beatboxing, talking, cheering each other on. You know, all the time and effort that the cast members did and the day of the production, just going to the school and just saying like, wow, we're actually here, like we're about to shoot. It, it was just amazing. How excited are you for people to see this film? Such a wholesome story, like... There is nothing wrong with you. You're just like those other kids. They just have to get to know you better. It has like the perfect balance of like sad moments and happy moments. And you just can't be afraid. Like, don't be scared to take your shot. Before the movie, I didn't even know what mutism was at all. And made me think otherwise of other people. And I'm just really excited for you guys to see it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.